Hello dearies, welcome. It's Kelly from the Book of Moons and since August is almost upon us uh, and some of you have expressed an interest, I thought that I might give you a little peek at my Book of Moons and how I lay it out. But before we do that, um, I decided to give you a little peek at my workspace area here, which is really nothing fancy, but <laughs> some of you might be interested in it. Um, and maybe at some point I'll consider doing a room tour of my sacred space, but for now you're just seeing it in bits and pieces. Uh, this backdrop backdrop might look familiar to you, um, my hearth there. We do live in a colonial era home, and this was the colonial era kitchen uh, back in the day. And it's really cool. I love having it in here. Um, of course, I don't use the bread oven, but I do occasionally light a fire in the winter when I'm working, which is really nice. So, okay, to the space. Um, here I just have some stamps. This is an incomplete set. It was my daughter's when she was little, and as uh, some of you who have little people in your lives might know, they don't always take the best care of their things, so <laughs> it's not a complete set, but I think the font is neat, and I do use it, so I just sort of keep it here. Um, oh yeah, this is my Owen book, and uh, this is just like my own little lexicon that I've created and am creating. I'm always adding to it. Um, you know, the experts even can agree on some of the meanings for the ohm. So I keep my own notes and uh, it's something I reference quite a bit. So I like to keep it out there. A little bit of mood lighting with my lamp when I'm working. Um, this is just a box of various things that I will paste into my book of moons or maybe my book of days when I'm working on that. Just odds and ends like, you know, business cards, old moon cards, for my practice ones or ones that were fails. I don't like to throw them out. I've got the some photocopies of the OM that I paste in every month. I have some stencils in here um, and some like some poetry I paste in sometimes. Oh yeah, that's one of my favorites. I love that one. Um, so anyway, yep. And uh, of course, if you're getting older, you might appreciate this. Having <laughs> one of these at the ready is always a, a good thing. Um, here's more nitty gritty supplies, scissors and uh, pens, rulers, compass. This guy here is really great for, um, for making moons anytime you need to make a, a circle. It's a good thing to have. And then here I just have a bunch of stamps. Um, I'm not a big embellisher, as you will see when we, we look through it, but I just sometimes I like to paste something in or use a, a little bit of, of washi tape and some of my own um, handmade stamps here. But yeah, nothing, uh, nothing fancy. Uh, I do have a couple of complete sets of alphabet stamps for when I want to use those. And oh yeah, this is great. This is my moon stamp. I love this thing. So I always keep this at the ready. It's great because um, I can stamp it in silver. That's what I did last time, I think, um, for a full moon or all black for a dark moon or, you know, half of it um, for a quarter moon or a crescent or whatever. I can do a lot with this. So I, I really love this stamp and I use that quite a bit as well. Some of my most used pens and stuff there. So anyway, so there you have a look at my little space. And now we'll take a look at the book itself. Okay, so I've moved us over to my little recording spot over here. Um, the light's a little bit better. And uh, also, <laughs> I already have my overhead camera apparatus set up. So I'm just making it a little bit easier. So this is my book of moons. And if you've been following me for any length of time, you have probably seen it before. Uh, it's just one of those uh, like term journals that uh, I've embellished with some like a silver paint pen and a stencil, which smudged. Um, yeah, I was bummed out about that, but you know, my practice is messy and my journal reflects that. <laughs> and uh, then I have the Book of Moons in Oum here on the front. So uh, inside, again, uh, I have Laura Yalaka, which is Irish for Book of Moons. And as I said, I don't like to throw away these little moon cards that were duds. So I've just repurposed it and put it in here. And I've got my name in Oum from a stamp that I made as well. So Okay, so I've got some personal information in here, obviously. <laughs> so I have some parts of it covered up, but this is an example of a page I do for the new moon. I typically will journal on the new moon and um, on the full moon, because on the full moon, I do a uh, full tarot reading and I will journal about that. And 
this is what a typical spread looks like. This is for February and we had Imolk that month. So if there's a festival going on, I will note that and write about that as well. Um, again, some, some more personal information here that I covered. I generally make a note on the, um, the month page of the full moon date, dark moon, new moon, any intention work, any special days. And this could be a family member's birthday or a festival day, um, the decks I'm using, and then some notes about the natural world. Uh, and this could be anything from Noticing like in the wintertime when the owls have come back or uh, noticing when things start to bloom in the spring, how the weather is, if it's unusual weather we're having. And then I pasted in a copy of the Oum that I drew back it, at Samhain and um, I leave the space next to it blank so that I can go back at the end of the month and just sort of reflect on the card and if I felt that it resonated or not. And here's one that um, I did for Beltane in May. And, um, you know, same same kind of thing here. I think I marked one for you guys for the full moon. Yeah, so again, I <laughs> got some personal info here, but this is like a, what a full moon page might look like. It, and I'm, I mix it up from, you know, from moon to moon. I'm, they don't always look like this, but here's an example of, of one I did in May. Uh, record the reading and, you know, make some notes about it. And that brings us to, um, this is generally the layout I have for the week. And I'll make a note of uh, any particular important moon phase happening, you know, new moons happening here, dark moon over here. So I make a note of the moon phase, the astrological phase that the moon is in. And then I'll make a note on the top um, of the card, my tarot card for the day for my daily pull. And um, then which deck I used. AM is Anima Mundi. And uh, yeah, I'm recording this today, so I have, don't have anything else filled in yet. And then here's the August page all done up. And um, I was trying to be fancy for you guys because <laughs> I knew you would be watching. Um, and I did this border thing here and it came out terrible. So I just put a piece of washi tape over it. And I also uh, do some pencil lines as a guide, which is something else I never do. Um, but uh, I wound up kind of smudging it but it's okay imperfection right and um, got the my own pasted in here and a spot for Lunasa to do some writing about that so there you have it that is my book of moons and I will jot down other things in it as well it's sort of an all-purpose kind of book but generally it's I use it as a sort of um, spiritual journal as opposed to my grimoire grimoire has more um, you know it's more like a workbook and um, has manifestation work and, and that sort of thing in, in it this is a little bit more mundane day-to-day -day sort of thing uh, if you're interested leave me a comment below uh, if you think you might like to put a page together um, together on a video. Uh, I thought that's something that maybe we could do for um, September or maybe October. October would be a fun month to do that. So anyway, dearies, I really hope that you enjoyed this and thanks for joining me as always. I really appreciate your support here on my little channel and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.